Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the new tile parameter in Midjourney that allows you to create seamless tiles in Midjourney. So this is just checking out that previous uh, image that I generated and uh, I can use this website to check the seamless texture and see how it looks. So this one is actually mentioned on the official Discord channel that allows you to check the textures and see how it looks like. Pretty cool. And this is instead of writing a seamless image tile or something similar in uh, Midjourney to try to generate something like that, which usually will give you something that, well, it's not going to be a seamless style. So now you can actually do it and get a seamless style by just adding the tile parameter. Well, are there any caveats for that? Well, let's look at the official Midjourney announcement. As you can see, you can add tile after your prompts to generate seamless textures. Uh, this means the images repeat if you use them as tiles. We see best result with test and test speed. Keep this in mind. But it also works with all algorithm of creation flows, version 3, version 2, 3, upscale variations, etc. So we can continue and generate more variation and this still will, be, uh, will work. And they also mentioned the website, you can check the, uh, the tile, how it looks. Uh, and again, more information that you can read here. Alright, so basically I go to the website, Control, Shift and I at the same time. It works on the thing of both Firefox and Edge as well. And if I go to the body here, I can see that this is the one that I put. You can actually replace this, the default one. So what I do, I just click it and then go and choose the image, replace it with another one. And here we go. And now you can either close it or stay with it. It's up to you. And uh, you can see that I can just play with the slider and change the tile width and see how it looks like. Cool. And this was generated by this prompt, all right, as you can see here. And again, this is just a single image. Once it's used and repeated, of course, it's created these seamless styles uh, look. Now, of course, this can be used for wallpapers, for gaming, if you want to create some seamless character for background, for, for the ground. For example, if you have a big area and create it again, you want a grass, a big area of grass, you can just generate a single image and make it repeat. And of course, it consumes much less memory. Uh, because again, less textures uh, are being used and smaller ones, so you can make a smaller texture and just make it repeat. You can use this for character design, many things for clothings, many, many uses for it. Now, I do recommend visiting the community feed because although if you write tile in the search and you get some really cool results, some of them, by the way, just including wall tile, but it doesn't matter. You can actually maybe get inspired creating some unique tiles by just seeing what other things are actually correspond to the tile search. All right, so for example, if we scroll down, we can find maybe this one, for example, isometric tabletop RPD dungeon map. And you just want to create a cool one, right? You can do, go and just take this one, for example, and create a tile with it and see how it looks. So try to search for different things with the wall tile and other, I, I mean, you can search for something that you really need, of course, and create it. But if you want to become creative with the tiles and make something kind of uh, really interesting, you can just search and see what other people are creating with the wall tile and create something uh, with it, I mean, inspired by it. Now, one tip here, uh, if you are generating something uh, as a tile, you need to make sure that you compose your output right. For example, if you want a grass texture for your game, you want, want to add something like an aerial view or top view. Otherwise, if you just put grass or describe something, how the grass looks like, you won't get the composition of the image that you are trying to get that can be a good fit for uh, a seamless style. So again, use some keywords uh, that can fit to try to control the camera or the composition of the image to match what you see as the tile that you want to get. Now, if you go to uh, Promecraft on Midjourney uh, Discord, uh, you can see that they are mentioning uh, that there's no need to put things like, you know, the word tile and seamless. Of course, you don't need it. Of course, the algorithm will do it by itself. And if you scroll down, you can see some uh, people putting examples. You should look at a parade of different images. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Right? Look at that. And you can use it, by the way, in different aspect ratios, as you can see, to tell them recently. And you get some really cool stuff, or vertically, or recently, or both. Up to you. 
and uh, there's also other things here I'm going to show you that it's a nice ID you see somebody Kirby 79 says you can also create infinite panoramic landscape using tile by asking a precise top and bottom like grass and sky I see so by that you can create a seamless one a background long background beautiful beautiful for ultra wide uh, displays a beautiful background you can create it as well so there's lots of information in some examples of uh, people using this is a vertical one as you can see for internet skyscraper so many different options there you can just go to promecraft and see uh, the discussion there and what people are creating and get inspired by this one as well so as you can see the community already discovers very interesting ways to become creative with the new tile parameters so make sure to check it out and check out the other what other people are doing try to think outside of the box to see you know what you can create with it because you can come up with some really cool images with things that look much more sophisticated unique and interesting than of course what you see right here on the screen uh, and that's about it if you have more ideas let me know in the comment section below share with us and also consider maybe subscribing give this one a little like see you on the next one cheers